Well, look, the traditional argument for cutting the welter of red tape on business is that it will boost economic competitiveness and sure, now more than ever we need that to create jobs. But there's also a broader issue here which is that the deluge of red tape, which is tying up businesses, particularly uh, small, medium-sized enterprises and startups, is also deterring job creation. And that means that, in a way, we're putting the entitlements and the rights of those lucky enough to have a job ahead of the most vulnerable in our society, which are those without a job. And I think that's particularly important when you consider the swelling ranks of youth unemployment. And why is it important that these are implemented now? Well, look, we have got a coalition government and that inevitably restrains our room for manoeuvre. Both sides need to be taken into account. We also are restrained by our deficit reduction plan and ministers ostensibly appear to have ruled out new uh, tax cuts on businesses. So in terms of a pro-growth agenda, particularly on the supply side, we've got limited room for manoeuvre and it strikes me that both given the economic realities but also the political constraints that cutting red tape is an extremely important and effective measure both for boosting job growth and economic competitiveness but also looking out for frankly the most vulnerable uh, in the current climate. And how quickly would the impact of your proposals be felt if implemented now? Well I think some of them could be brought in um, immediately very quickly. I think uh, some of the help for small businesses, micro businesses and startups uh, should be brought in almost immediately um, and, and therefore that could bring uh, immediate relief and encourage job creation. Others will take longer because they'll need primary legislation. I think we need to be doing far more to deter some of the vexatious and spurious litigation, particularly on the employment front, that businesses have to face. And there's other stuff, which probably we're talking short to medium term. Um, certainly if we're looking at renegotiating or securing opt-outs from European legislation, things like the Agency uh, Directive, the Agency Workers Directive, things like the Working Time Directive, um, but also things like TUPI, with the regulations which, um, which currently deter business rescues, I think those will take a bit longer. So you've got a short-term plan and a, a medium to longer-term plan here.